Hello friends, today we will be discussing what is a constitution. Constitution means a set of rules or you can say a set of guidelines, set of principles for governing a nation. For governing a nation, we need constitution. Almost every constitution in the world, they have their own constitution, right? Like India, we have also constitution, right? And we have a detailed constitution in the world, the most longest written constitution in the world, right? We'll talk definitely. First thing is that constitution are of two types. First is written constitution and unwritten constitution. Written constitutions are those constitutions which are written in the form of laws, rules, sections, right? Principles. However, some of the constitution in the world you will find they are unwritten. Unwritten constitution means uh, those countries which depends upon various judgments, various uh, traditions, customs and conventions in the parliament or legislatures of that country. For example, UK has unwritten constitution. However, UK constitution is not fully unwritten constitution. Some of the things are written. So you can say half written and half unwritten constitution. But we always say UK constitution is a unwritten constitution because most of the parts of UK constitutions are unwritten in nature. However, if you talk about India, our country, it's a written constitution. It is the most detailed constitution in the world, longest constitution world, right? And if you talk about other constitution, for example, US constitution, that's also a written constitution. There are only seven articles in US constitution and so far as till the date, 27 amendments has been done. In Indian constitution, we have more than uh, 465 articles. Originally, we had 395 articles and 8 schedules. However, we have uh, more than 465 articles, right? And more than 100 amendments. These are the things you have to remember. Another point is, constitution must be sovereign. Constitution must be independent. Constitution must be own document. Simply you can say, Constitution must be drafted, must be written by the own people. If you talk about India, Indian Constitution was framed in 1946. It took two years, 11 months and 18 days to draft the entire Constitution of India. And nearly 60 lakhs were spent to draft the constitution. And in a constitution, you'll find everything, all aspects of society, polity, environment, education, science and technology, everything you'll find in our constitution. Our constitution is framed by, uh, you can say, constituent assembly. Constituent assembly means group of people or uh, those scholars, lawyers, advocates, intellectuals at that time in 1946, they assembled together in the central hall of parliament to draft the constitution of India, to draft the destiny for India, for us. Right? So you should remember that it took two years, 11 months and 18 days to draft the constitution. And uh, we have borrowed many things from different parts of the world. For example, we have taken fundamental rights from U.S. Bill of Rights. We have taken Supreme Court from USA. We have taken, for example, read from UK Constitution, amendment from South African Constitution, right? Fundamental duties from Russian Constitution. So we have various sources because we want a best constitution in the world. So we borrowed the best parts of uh, constitution from many countries around the world. So it took more than two years, nearly three years, two years, 11 months and 18 days. 
and constituent assembly sat for 11 times total sittings of constituent assembly which framed the constitution sat for 11 sessions the first sitting of constituent assembly to draft the constitution sat on 9th december 1946 these are the things you have to remember for exam point of view i think you got uh, the idea about the constitution types of constitution and indian constitution little bit about uk and us constitution right and uh, in next lesson we'll talk in details the subsequent chapters thank you for watching